Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have to disappoint Queen Elizabeth again. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly had plans to visit Queen Elizabeth at Balmoral Castle this summer. The visit would have been the couple's first big trip to the United Kingdom since their exit from the royal family became official on March 31st. But given how the entire world is still dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, the Sussexes may have to cancel their royal plans altogether. Queen Elizabeth invites Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to Balmoral Castle. Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, are now living in Los Angeles. The couple moved to the area after spending several months at a rented home on Vancouver Island. Prince Harry and Meghan flew out of Canada right before the borders closed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Members of the royal family, meanwhile, have been living in isolation in the UK. Prince William and Kate Middleton are at their country estate, Anmer Hall, while Queen Elizabeth is staying at Windsor Castle with her husband, Prince Philip. Sources say that Her Majesty invited Harry and Meghan to spend the summer with her at Balmoral Castle earlier this year. Queen Elizabeth spends every summer at her Scottish estate, where other members of the royal family typically join her. Last year, for example, she invited Prince Harry and Meghan to Balmoral with the newest addition to their family, Archie Harrison. The couple declined the invitation because Harry was set to appear at the Rugby League Challenge Cup final. Harry and Meghan might cancel their summer plans. In March, Queen Elizabeth reportedly sent Prince Harry and Meghan an invitation to see her at the Moral. This, of course, was before the coronavirus pandemic put the entire world in a lockdown. Royal expert Danielle Stacey believes that the Sussexes will likely cancel their summer plans due to the pandemic. Even Queen Elizabeth might be forced to stay at Windsor Castle for several more months, Stacy shared. It seems unlikely that the Sussexes or any member of the royal family will be traveling this summer. The Queen is expected to remain at Windsor Castle for the foreseeable future, and it could mean that her traditional summer break in Balmoral might not even take place this year. Queen Elizabeth is following the advice of medical professionals especially when it comes to future royal engagements. Her Majesty has cancelled most of her upcoming events, including trooping the colour. To stay in contact with other members of the royal family, Queen Elizabeth has been using video and phone calls. She is also reportedly fulfilling her royal duties, and will continue to do so until the crisis is over. The royals have not commented on the reports surrounding Harry and Meghan's summer plans. Some experts believe that Queen Elizabeth might stay at Windsor Castle as late as October. Has Prince Harry been staying in touch with his family? While Queen Elizabeth has been in contact with most members of the royal family, fans have been wondering if Harry and Prince William are back on speaking terms. The brothers have been the subjects of a slew of feud rumors over the past few years, and it sounds like things may have finally smoothed over. Royal expert Katie Nichol claims that Prince Harry and Prince William are back in touch. The brothers apparently reached out after Prince Charles tested positive for the coronavirus. Although certain issues remain, Nichol revealed that they have been in contact in recent weeks. She stated, there have been clearly some quite major rifts in that relationship, but things have got better, and I know that William and Harry are in touch on the phone. They have done video calls together. They have done a lot of family birthdays, and I think with Prince Charles not being well, that really forced the brothers to pick up the phone and get back in touch. Nickel noted that Harry and William started working on their fractured relationship a few months back. And now, that Harry is feeling a little homesick. The timing was perfect for them to reconnect. The royal expert believes that the Sussexes enjoyed a video call with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in celebration of Archie's first birthday. 
Queen Elizabeth also reportedly took part in a Zoom meeting with Prince Harry and Meghan on RT's big day. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Is Prince William's mention of Prince Harry in letter to Princess Diana's charity a subtle sign that their relationship is improving? Prince William shared a message of encouragement to Princess Diana's charity and fans noticed that he included his brother Prince Harry in the communication. That they mended their fractured relationship. The brothers appear to have teamed up. Some royal fans are wondering if a letter that Prince William wrote to the Diana Award charity, in which he referenced Harry, is a sign that their relationship is improving. The charity revealed the letter in which William and Harry shared their gratitude for the organization. The letter stated, I wanted to write to send my support and thanks to all the staff, volunteers and supporters of the Diana Award, my brother and I remain ever appreciative of the work you do to foster, develop and support young people, particularly at this time of uncertainty. Prince William added, whilst you are finding yourselves adapting to new ways of working there is no doubt that your support for young people, through what will be anxious and unsettling times for many, is as important as ever. This comes with my very best wishes for good health to you and your families over the coming weeks. The charity responded in an Instagram post from the Diana Award charity, in which the letter and photos of Prince Harry and Prince William were featured. They expressed their thanks for the kind words of encouragement. Get this on camera. Ah! You forgot your page. <laughs> the Instagram post noted, We received a lovely message from HRH, the Duke of Cambridge. Thank you to the Duke and the Duke of Sussex, for all your support over the years and now in this uncertain time. We're incredibly grateful for all of our supporters, including you reading this right now, for making it possible for us to help young people change the world. We hope this brightens your day. It certainly did ours. Kensington Royal and Sussex Royal. He's definitely got more brains than me, I think we've, we've established that from school, but when it comes to all that, I think hand, I'm much better hands-on. Yeah. When you find Boldness. It's oh, pretty rich coming from a ginger, so I'm quite happy to uh, um, take that moment. Well, it is still hard work, but um, I'm better than William, so it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Fans were won over by the brothers' message. The outpouring of love for the royal brothers showed that fans are still so impressed with them. Comments on the Diana Awards post included praise such as, lovely message, such wonderful brothers, Diana would be so proud, and class act, including Harry here. Other fans shared how the brothers are carrying on their mother's legacy. One fan commented, Harry is an incredibly wonderful and beautiful soul, he is his mother's son, another fan wrote. I am going to become a little again for a second time, hopefully, so um, very exciting news. I can't wait to see my brother suffer more, and with any luck, if it's a girl, then he'll suffer even, even greater, I think. I'd love to see him try and cope with that. Prince William is such an advocate for his mother's legacy. He loves her so much, and is carrying on paying tribute to her in his own way. Prince Harry is still involved with charities. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, exited the royal family at the end of March, Many wondered if Harry would still be involved with the charitable organizations he supported in the past. His royal duties may be behind him, but Prince Harry is still active with some of the charities. Royal expert Katie Nichol shared how, despite Prince Harry being in the U.S., he has remained engaged with the work that matters to him. Nichol shared, I've spoken to the CEOs of a number of charities, that Harry's been in touch with. Well, child, the Diana Award, the Queen's Commonwealth Trust to find out how involved Harry has been, or if it's all gone quiet, and absolutely it hasn't. Harry picks up the phone very regularly. 
He and Megan have handpicked. So there you have it. That's all the news on Megan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.